Our theme for our forum this evening is People First Culture Inspired by CEOs. Why CHROs are more suitable for the CEO's role? The chief HR officers are often able to take on CEO's roles because they are already familiar with the inner workings of the company. They know the culture, the values, they have good business acumen to understand the importance of employee satisfaction as a competitive advantage. At CIPM Council, we groom future leaders for CEOs by giving the true boardroom experience. And uh, I would like to first start with uh, referring to Bingo, where at particularly it affects people who will be identified as less productive. So it should be the role, not the person. Second thing is you have to be reasonable in terms of what you pay. So you should, in a market like Sri Lanka, because our salaries are very low, like a junior executive salary in this country is like 100, 150,000. So even if you pay three years salary, uh, it's not enough for you to sustain if you don't have a job for 12 months. So uh, it's important that you negotiate better with your boards on a restructuring pot. So I'll bring a concept, uh, actually it reminds me, uh, uh, once the Professor Tom Peron was talking about uh, uh, culture, he defined the culture as an onion. Yeah? He said uh, culture has a core value, and you have the layers of culture build up for the organization. Uh, as far as um, the media industry is concerned, looking for those very, very special people who have a, a, a purpose that goes beyond themselves, I think is important. And then all you need to do is provide them with a platform and freedom and they reach their potential. Uh, it's also important, in my opinion, to have a regular feedback. Uh, so the people, I mean, it could be a survey, but I think the kind of evaluation we had once a year is not relevant anymore. I mean, they have to be constant feedback. So feedbacks need to be honest. People also must be honest, uh, whether they want to say negative things or positive things. So we must uh, have a culture where they are free to say what they want to say, that they don't feel they're going to be penalized if they say something negative about the company, because then there is no uh, thing about people first. They are looking for the human interaction, but the generation that is coming up tomorrow, is it really true? Are they really looking for human interaction? They, the biggest problem is they are living in the country. They are leaving. They are not sure about their future. So we have that challenge, no doubt about it, but we are constantly hiring. We want to say that core values and all that, because even my son will tell, oh, these brands, Aston Martin or whatever, Tati, why don't you get a good job and earn more money? But I have the core values. I think you're spot on, like, uh, whatever generation, you, you need to have that feeling factor in, in looking after people. And, and you don't need to have money for that, right? You know, you recognize him, work with him, and, and treat him, you know, care him. Like, you know, the, these are things that as a leader you can do that. The people first culture inspired by CEOs coming from different industries with your viewpoints that is definitely value addition and a lot to take from, as people need to be motivated and inspired to deliver results.